so not only for the color update so we can check uh, we can validate the user uh, authentication if the user authenticated uh, if the user is, user is authorized then he can access some of the components or some of the pages but if the user doesn't authorized then we can't show some of the pages to him we just show uh, some small small things uh, for the uh, for something right so how to do that so similarly uh, how we are creating the theme context right here we can create additional own const and auth context so create context if you want if you want you can do uh, you can directly give the value here like uh, uh, user is not authorized in the initial time so that's what i'm giving the false value here and go back copy this auth context and jump into your app.js file and import that here and here you are using theme context right so as usual the same thing use the provider and send the value Wrap the application with your provider. So for that, um, you need to pass the value for the updater, right? Uh, is authenticator sick authorization, right? So you need to pass these two values here, and within the help of that, so initially uh, this uh, the user is not authorized. For example, copy and go to the state component here. Copy and paste it that our context. Copy the our context and put it here. And go back. Copy the values. What are you send it here? Go to the component and replace this. Right. So uh, what you need to do? You need to uh, consider this is the form. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do? We have the two places. If the user is authorized. Then, if the user is, user is authorized, then we can show the form. Yes, we can show. So by that way, we can uh, implement more. So if the user is authenticated, user is authenticated, then we can show this. If user is not authenticated, we can show this. Right. So save it. Go back here. Um, Okay, I think some of the problem. Yeah. Seven. So here you can see. So uh, now currently the user is not authenticated. So that's what uh, the form is not visible for him. Right. Uh, that's what is showing the counter and its value. If we want to authorize, uh, consider uh, when the user clicking on the button at that time he going to log in. Right. Uh, so for that we need two buttons. Uh, for login and logout. So login. Logout. Right. So what we need to do, we need to build along with this. So okay. Instead of this, we need to use set authorization. If the user is logged in, then we need to set it as true. If the user is not authorized, we need to set it as false. When the user clicking on logout, then he should see the login button. If the user is already logged in, then she, he should uh, see the login button. Right. So for that, so if the user is authenticated, then he should see login logout button. If he is not authorized, he should see login button. So for that, I'm using on H1. Um, is authenticator user user successfully log in. If he is not authorized, um please log in so we go back so currently uh, the authorization is not provided so please log in the user clicking on login he will use successfully logged in and he can able to see the form as well so this is a simple uh, explanation 
But uh, this context is we are implementing the within the component. But when you are using multiple pages at that time, definitely it will be a, a super uh, usable one. So we don't need to use sessions. We don't need to use uh, in the applications. I don't need to use, keep on checking the local storage or session storage something. We can directly use use context. It always up, up, updated one. It available uh, the value uh, store in the particular context. But one problem is if we refresh, uh, the data will be uh, removed from the session. So at that time, uh, if you want, you can store it in the local storage. So whenever we are entering this, uh, the particular component, so at that time you can check out whether the user is authenticated, like local storage or authorization is there or not like that, you can check.